This is a Nissan Leaf 2022 and uh, it's electric curve with a range of 170 kilometers if I'm not wrong. Okay now we are sitting in the Nissan Leaf and uh, it has a range of 150 miles, 9 miles and this is all the things that you can see here and it has uh, all the uh, reverse camera everything and this is the controls very simple like uh, anything so, uh, that I've seen so let's just put it for the drive and that's it we are ready to drive so such a lovely car I have a ex lovely experience of this I feel it's nice it's punchy it has uh, enough power very comfortable and nice air conditioning this is uh, one of those days 27 degrees now this is heat wave in the UK and I really love this experience and that's the way back looks like and this is dashboard we have now used uh, around uh, five miles This is the view from the back, as you can see, it's quite impressive and imposing on the road. I can compare it to the mm, Renault Zoe. The Renault Zoe, of course, uh, is a slightly smaller, it has a slightly bigger range, 200, uh, 195, 210 or 15, and uh, I have a video about that. This is a huge um, boot, uh, quite a leap between this and the other one, uh, and the edge, but anyway, it gives you plenty of space because you practically, this is the space that usually is taken by the your fuel tank. You don't have a fuel tank here, it's just battery and that is at the bottom of the um, thing. So they have a really good boss. Uh, infotainment uh, you know, audio lovely bags here uh, lovely yeah pouches for putting your shopping in you can uh, also hooks for attaching the stuff you can lay down the seats in two or three which is easy by pulling this the seat comes down there is a huge gap of course and when you lay down both of the seats you will have a big space kind of biggish you have to remove this shelf of course wood shelf if you do that you will have a almost like a van of course there is a big huge gap here i, I wish that it had something like probably this will go here to provide a shelf i'm not sure about that so it's quite large for the size of the car that takes a really several large suitcases Let's sit inside and see how it is. <clears throat> really comfortable. You have all control for all the windows and the lock and the control of the mirrors and the charging station. You can actually press this and the uh, charging station pops out, you can actually pop the lid of it comes off um, distance warning uh, hand warming for the wheel, steering wheel I don't know what's this one charging off, this is off. Uh, the range as I told the when I got it was 157 I drove around a little bit and it was it changed to 120 Five, which is good. Uh, I didn't expect it that. Let's just turn this on and see how it is. So it says to me that is a handbrake. Road with restricted access. Okay. The light is telling me that the handbrake uh, is on. And one of the doors I think is on. Yeah, there is a 
the door was not closed I didn't shut the door I was uh, just sitting I didn't shut the door is blowing a nice air air condition is on automatic but I will just turn it off oh that was on okay I turn it off mm -hmm. turn off I turned it off infotainment is nice is there anything else here oh you had trip reset you can actually reset your trip and that is a uh, light probably I think anyway I don't know I have to look in the car documents this is the mirror as you can see here uh, on the A pillar it has one of these uh, speakers another one on this uh, A pillar another one must be here no yeah that's another one I noticed the sound is very surround another one here my range at the moment is uh, 124 miles and 75% of the battery This is a Nissan Leaf and I'm driving it now. Uh, it's quite a strong, powerful, uh, more powerful definitely than the Zoe. Really nice drive, smooth. Uh, I could go with the speed limit, up to the speed limit, 60 miles an hour. We didn't feel anything. I've opened the window a little bit because I don't want the air conditioning to use the power. So that's the reason you can hear the sound of the wind. And when I pull up the window, uh, you cannot hear any sound much. I don't hear much. The energy efficiency of it, because it's a bigger car than the Zoe, is a little bit less. That is nice anyway. Generally, it's nice. You can drive and enjoy the views. It's very smooth, I must say, the tires are really good, adjusted the pressure very nicely at the dealership for me. What I notice is that uh, cruise, there is no cruise control here, you have a speed limiter but no cruise control. And the flap for the charging also went on for a while, so that's another one of the things that I noticed in front. It was a little bit embarrassing, I, probably it was loose when I last time look at it um, I didn't push it completely down so it didn't go closed completely um, yeah but the lack of cruise control I reuse the cruise control a lot so I prefer if I had that maybe I have to you know uh, just learn more about this if I can find the cruise control how it works the speed limiter works well uh, lane departure line really well it gives you vibration you actually feel it it's kind of mechanical vibration on just on the steering wheel, not anywhere else. Just lets you know. Uh, it easily packs uh, and parks everywhere. In the tightest spaces, I was able to park. So that was really good. Steering wheel is very smooth. That's the reason I could park in the tightest space. The surround helicopter view of the all the uh, surrounding area when you're reversing is really nice feature. Uh, you see, this is the sound you hear when you go over the lane. Let's do it again. Yeah, you can hear it again. The steering wheel is very nice and smooth. At the same time, firm. You know, it's not uh, it's not loose. You feel it that it has a kind of weight and inertia of its own. But easily can take orders from you. Something I noticed with this uh, acceleration of it is that when you remove your foot from the pedal, gas pedal, as we call it you feel suddenly as if the car breaks you you feel deceleration not just a slowing down it gives you a push toward the forward so that's quite annoying in a way i must say i generally enjoy this this was a minor feature that i felt that is a little bit annoying could be improved i can understand it probably the uh, deceleration is actually charging uh, 
another electro motor to another electro motor uh, the battery is back so this is this is the way i think uh, is electrodynamo i should say and is uh, charging back giving back electric to the batteries that's how it is but generally it's really enjoyable the acceleration is really pungy you can feel the road holding and the joy of the driving you can have with this car and that's the Nissan Leaf 2022 so